Welcome to the Dean Blackman Show, live from Long Island. Free-flowing talk with a charismatic, down-to-earth host. Join Dean as he interviews and chats freely with his guests, ranging from superstar athletes to politicians, industry titans, and everyday folk with fascinating life stories. Dean educates, entertains, and most of all, touches people's lives. You're listening to The Dean Blackman Show, live from Long Island. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to The Dean Blackman Show. This is your host, Dean. Uh, it's quite a warm day here on the North Shore of Long Island in Setauka, but uh, a beautiful, beautiful sunny day here in the studio is my sound and tech manager, Anthony Lacauzi. We're going across uh, out of the country to the exclusive European correspondent, Miss Ria Bo. Hello, Ria. How are you? Hi, Dean. I'm good. Thank you. And thank you for inviting me on today. Um, it's the same this end as it is your end. It is hot. Uh, I understand why people that live in hot countries, you know, uh, Caribbean, etc., why they walk around slowly because it's just too hot to go fast, Dean. Well, Anthony, how are you doing today? Very good, very good. Uh, hoping for a little bit of a breeze or a little bit of rain to cool off. <laughs> Next Tuesday is the launch of uh, the Dean Blackman Show. Very excited to have uh, my mom, Mrs. Jean Blackman. Uh, as the first guest on my show. Very exciting. Uh, I don't want anyone to miss it, but next Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Rhea, I'm going to break it over to you. Uh, what do you what's news over there in, in Europe today? Dean, I, I wish I had some good news for you, but it's pretty much all about Turkey. Uh, we just had the Nice horror, um, and now this Turkey thing has gone on, the military coup. People are talking about, would it have been better if the military would have pulled it off? A lot of people are saying it would have been a better place if the military would have pulled off the coup. And the reason they didn't is because they did, couldn't get the heads of military behind it. But it looks as though Turkey is almost going into like a devolutionary state where they're taking it back to the, the Islamic State. Um, the prime minister has sacked over something like thousands of judges i don't know the numbers but it's lots and lots and they want to bring back the death penalty and all that kind of thing so they've hit a conflict they want to join the eu but you can't join the eu if your country has the death penalty and there's there's loads of footage on wickedvid.com for people to catch up on so i'm just watching that mess unfold over there dean but that's it no good news this end i'm afraid Ria, for people that don't know, uh, it's just amazing how we came together over these last couple of months and how we are able to collectively with you and being over there in the UK and with your newsletter, WickedVid, how we're able to really bring uh, world breaking news uh, through the Dean Blackman show. And I just want to say thank you very much for being a part of uh, this groundbreaking opportunity for me now to have my own radio show. Anthony, You're very welcome. You're very welcome indeed, Dean. It's a pleasure to be here. Anthony, what's new on your end uh, in M&A right now? Um, a lot of excitement, actually. I'm just a little nervous about the upcoming correction in the equities markets in the fall and how that may uh, affect everything. You know, the markets at new highs. It seems like... Um, exact replay of what happened in 08. Everything went to new highs and shortly thereafter everything fell apart. So it is a little nerve wracking to say the least. Rhea, it looks like over in Europe that uh, everything that's happening in the world, Brexit uh, has, uh, it's it's become somewhat with, uh, with terrorism and with what's going on out here in the United States and internationally with terrorism, that Brexit a little bit has taken a back seat. Um, kind of. The initial push, because we have a whole new government pretty much, and now it's the dust is settling. Um, because the world was already going into a, a contraction, but the Fed would never tell you that, uh, but just by their actions that they can't raise interest rates and quantitative easing, etc., which Anthony would know all about, um, the evidence is there whether they're telling us or not. I think Brexit is going to be that that is the domino that started to trigger the rest to fall for the world to go to acknowledge a contraction, Dean. 
Uh, that's about what's going on. And I'll just have a quick voice about the up and coming shows. I know I'm really looking forward to your mum coming on. That's so exciting. And I'm going to be bringing a few segments into it. One of them being the less question it segment. And the other one being Ria's ditties. Now, Ria's ditties are going to consist of kind of like facts that they're almost interesting, but maybe not. And I'll just give you some examples of some of the things that I'll come in with. Things like, did you know the average four-year-old lies every two hours? And did you know the smell after the rain is called petrochia? And the first use of the term heat wave was for the period of hot weather was in New York of 1892. And I'm going to be coming across with little facts and ditties like that, Dean. Hopefully interesting. Awesome. Love it, Ria. That's great. And I just want to have everybody that we, we always want our audience to interact with me and the show and with Ria. And we, we welcome people to subscribe to uh, the show's U YouTube channel always go to deanbleckman.com we want to hear from you by way of facebook uh, twitter we have our own exclusive uh, text messaging phone number that's on the website and we always want to hear who you are where you are we want to share your comments on all our shows and always interact with all you people in our audience out there so we we welcome that don't you agree ria Oh, I do, Dean. Absolutely, I do. I'm really excited about launching on Tuesday. Uh, so everybody get on board. Uh, we have a text number if you go to the website. So anybody in the U.S. can free text. Um, you can send us whatever you like, you know. Please text in. We're just starting out, so appreciate any support whatsoever. We have an email that's also on the website. If you want to reply, send an email. If you're just doing a text to get on the show, get your five minutes of fame or whatever, just send it in. We'll read it out on the show. And you can send in whatever you like. Just don't be too mean because I'm a bit fragile, Dean. Rhea, I want to thank you again. I mean, for 30 years, uh, I interacted with people every day in business and love connecting with people, hearing their stories. And I really want this show to really be something that impacts people's lives every day with inspiration, education, have some great humor. And just really looking forward to the launch of the show. As I said, next Tuesday, what an unbelievable show we're going to have that I have an opportunity to have. My mom is going to be 89 years old. And to have my mother, Jean Blackman as my first guest on my radio show, just it gives me chills. Just a great opportunity to, I can't wait. So I hope everybody tunes in next Tuesday, July 26, Jean Blackman. My mom, the first guest on the Dean Blackman show. So as I said, everybody, please, we want to hear your comments, text, uh, Facebook, email, go to the website, deanbleckman.com. Uh, please subscribe to the show's YouTube channel. We want to hear from you and we'll see you next Tuesday. Gene Blackman. You've been listening to the Dean Blackman show live from Long Island, New York. From all of us here, we'd like to thank you for tuning in. We look forward to hearing your comments via Facebook, Twitter, Skype, and email. And don't forget, you can visit the webpage anytime for the up-and-coming guest list. From all of us here, have a good evening.